pick out the cat, so the small soul of your it's a very basic uh, step which anyone can do. Uh, we can come closer to this. Yeah. So here is the bottom portion of the tap. You will see two notches, one here and one on the other side. Generally, this should be not too tight. It should be easy to open it by hand. But if it is very uh, tight, and even with the hand, when you need to open these two notches, if you hold and turn, it's easier. Or use a cloth to hold this if it's slipping and turn. Generally, when you put it back, don't tighten it more than that. But, if, but in case there's salt deposit and after a long time you need to open it, then you use a plier and put it at these two notches. and. Turn it anti-clockwise. So anti-clockwise is like this. If you turn it clockwise, it becomes even more tighter. So anti-clockwise to open it. So you just have to do that to loosen it up and then open it. Be careful because sometimes there's this washer or rubber ring which is sometimes gets stuck here and might fall off and you won't notice it. So this is a very important piece which generally holds the water from leaking out to the other sides. So the filter is you have to remove it here and uh, whenever if there is a salt deposit around the thread you can clean it with a rough uh, brush which uh, you normally use for dishwashing. Now this is uh, the whole filter of it, one can also remove these whole pieces, there are about three more pieces inside. But for, a ba for this basic step, we'll just uh, do a surface cleaning of it and that involves just tapping it. So keep the uh, opening here and just tap it. And this, uh, in case it doesn't come out, I normally use a uh, safety pin. But you have to make sure the safety pin is not sharp. It is, it's uh, blunted. Tip is blunted so that it doesn't damage the uh, inside this membrane. It's important not to damage this membrane. So you just poke in the holes to clear it. If you are doing it regularly, say once a month or so, then just tapping it on the ground or uh, uh, just using a brush to clear these openings is more than enough. But after a long time, if you start doing it, then use a needle to just clear the holes. Takes a little bit of time. into the holes. So there's some more in here in the inner portion which you can clear. So generally when the water comes it sucks in the air here and gives the bubble out this way and from here. So after you do that just generally a good tap on the surface is more than enough. Then you just clear it. Then you have to put it back. Always remember this on top. The thread is here and you put it back here. Just put it on top here like this and push this in and close it with your hand. This, this tool is available in our storeroom, man. Right? For yes. those who don't have yeah. mm. we have a box with all the tools. And of course, don't use that tool to tighten this, just the normal one. It's already clean now. Yes. Oh, oh yes. you can see the you know, It's a lot more softer on the hand, it's not sharp. Then you can reduce the. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. It's a yeah. control yeah. You can either make it uh, slow or 
Yes, so it's better yeah. because it's flash. Yeah. So, uh, there are two sizes actually of these filters. One is a uh, 22 mm, what we use here on these tabs. Uh, if you see the water filter or the uh, uh, RO water filter, that has an 18 mm uh, nozzle. So this 22 mm, you can remove this and put it on any of the other tabs. So if you don't want a spray, you want a foam type, you can exchange it with your kitchen sink. The spray is uh, uses it's less water than the foam, and the foam uses less water than the normal tap. So that's how it works. And you can have uh, there are adapters available in the market. Always remember to buy 22 mm ones. This is what mm. This 22 mm. 22. And sink? Uh, kitchen sink or the same. Okay. So you can exchange this with that and put that here. Okay. You can do quite a few things. Okay. So the next one is uh, blockage of which all of us are facing. 